Hello, this is Brian from Workspace Admins. Uh, today we'll take a look at using uh, GAM or GAM ADV uh, XDD3 uh, securely on a Google Compute Engine. So, this does require you to set up a, a Compute Engine on GCP. Uh, so, even though there is a free usage limit available, so I'll just um, GCP always free. So, Compute Engine has free tier available for you to take advantage of. However, this does require a billing account for you to use in case there's some overages above the you know, free usage limit. So as long as you create your VMs or E2 micro VM in one of these following regions, uh, you shouldn't expect any charges. Okay, so I'll just go back to the GAM documentation here. So the, we first need to create a GCP project, which we already have done. And we also need to create a service account and we also need to grant uh, access, which is service account key admin and service account token creator and view service account. So I'll go back to the Google uh, GCP console here and I do have a service account that I already created without any keys. So I just called it GAMSA. So that's my service account that I'll be using. And if I go back to IAM page, uh, I do have Gamma SA. So I have service account token creator, free service account, but it doesn't seem to have the one other permission that might be needed, which is a service account key admin. And we now need to create a GCP Compute Engine or Compute Engine Rather. So I'll just go to the Compute Engine here, VM Instances. Uh, before I can do that, I just need to double check my billing account to see if I have a billing account I can use. So I have a billing account attached, but I'll change the Manage Billing Account here. I'm just select the project first and then change building. So GAM Brian is attached to 22D, but I'll change your mind in case there's any uh, charges that might be applied. So I'll just refresh the page here. There you go. So my project is now attached to PK billing account and I do have some credit from Google uh, that I received through innovators program or whatever the program is called now. So I'll go back to my projects, Compute Engine VM Instances, and just to double check, it's a US West one or US Central one that I'll be using because I am in Calgary. So I'll create an instance here. My US Central one is fine for me, US Central one A, E2. I'll do E2 Micro which is free, S standard is fine. And you want to make sure that you are selecting your the right service account. And we don't need any web access, so I won't change anything there. And I like to make sure that I use the right OS version, uh, which is typically Debian, uh, but I'll just double check. It's been a while since I've set up a VM Let's see, there you go, Debian 12 bookworm. So that's fine, 10 gig is fine. So I'll just create. So there are a couple other things you can do uh, such as enabling uh, or requiring two-step verification upon uh, connecting to the VM, uh, but we won't review that in this video. And another thing you can do is just turning off external IP address. So I think we have covered some of that in our previous videos, uh, so you can reference those as well. So allow SS SSH in browser, authorize. security key, continue. Okay, so now I'm connected here. 
Okay, so the first thing that I might do uh, is install GAM. So I'll go to the download page here. Our wiki downloads install without any authorizations. Bash to restart the shell. Oops, not restart, clear. And now if I go back to the instructions here for setting it up securely, and I think next thing I want to do is gam create GCP service account. So I'll just run that, bring this forward. I'll just maximize this. Okay, so that created the service account, or that cr created the OAuth2 service.json, but the key type is signed with uh, JWT. I, I think that stands for JWT. I get to Google JSON web JSON web token. Uh, so the format is a little different, uh, but it's there. Uh, that's how it works. And the next thing that I might want to do is GAM enable APIs. So it says the OAuth 2 cannot be found, which makes sense. We'll do automatically. And Brian at workspace admins. Okay, the reason why I'm doing this is because I haven't used this project in a while, so there may be some additional APIs that may need to be enabled and authorized. So allow, so this enables the developers or J and Ross's GAM project to automate some of these API enablement. So that's done, and now I can do GAM auth create. Okay, so client secret.json doesn't exist. Uh, so I'll actually do something else here. So Google or Ross also has, or Ross and Jay also have the instructions for using a delegate admin account or using a GCP service account rather than a admin account for uh, for for using with GAM, so this does require you to assign admin privilege admin privileges to the service account that you created. So we'll quickly do that here. So if I go to account admin roles, and I may already have a service account, or I'll just call this GAM service. call it DASA here, delegate admin service account. So I will give it all the privileges I can. Actually, I'll scroll down. So it cannot be a super admin, uh, but it can perform all of these things that your typically admins can do as long as they have admin privileges, privileges assigned. So I'll go to console.cloud.google.com and grab the service account email address. Compute engine, oops. I am an admin. Put my service account here. Assign service account, add. Sign role. And I need to edit gam.cfg file, which should be in .gam. So enable DASA or needs to be set to true. So it's currently set to false. So I'll just.
Okay, so it looks like I need to set a few values here. So let's set those values here. So it's looking for customer ID, my customer is not compatible. Uh, domain is also not compatible. Admin email also is not compatible. So I need to do cam config customer ID. Uh, my customer ID should be that domain is workspace admins.org admin email is the service account email address which I should have save to verify Save, verify. Okay, so now those are saved. Now let's try doing GAM from users. There we go. So if we look inside the contents of that GAM folder where you would typically find GAM configuration file, auth2.txt, and auth2.service.json, the only file that I have here is auth2.service.json which doesn't actually contain the service account key, which uh, usually raises some red flags uh, with uh, some security team members. So this is how you go about setting up um, uh, GAM securely on a GCP compute engine uh, without having to actually download the, download the service account key uh, that has domain-wide delegation. So I should be able to GAM user Brian show file list so that'll show, show me all the files that I have. Uh, so um, Brian at workspaceadmins.org doesn't exist. Um, I, I do need to complete the domain-wide delegation process. Can use a Brian, check service account. So this should all fail as expected. So I just need to complete the domain-wide de domain delegation process for the new service account that I created. So you can use this URL shortener that will take you to the domain wide delegation page. So that's been completed. I'm just doing it off screen. Okay. So now that's all passing. So that should give me the list of all the files that I have. I'll just clean up this output. So those are the list of files that I have. Um, so that's about it. So if you have any questions, uh, leave us a comment below. And if you have any questions, uh, always uh, feel free to reach out to team at workspaceadmins.org. Uh, it's one of the team members, whether myself, uh, Kim, uh, Steve, or Dominic, uh, they will be able to answer any questions uh, you might have. Thank you.